A Good Looking Woman by Richard Stymack. The town never thought it would happen. On the night of the accident, Ben and Sherry drove down Old Peg Road, the stretch that runs along the top of the Fire Creek Levee. The concrete had broken into pieces. It was worse than driving over railroad ties. Heads bounced off the ceiling. Axles snapped. Wheels cartwheeled into the water. Everyone assumed they'd been drinking, at least Ben had, though no one would openly admit it was probably Sherry who was driving. When the KC Hall closed, Dan, the bartender, helped Ben to the car. Sherry would thank him. He'd blush in the darkness. Only his shadow, cast by the halogen safety light, suggested the shame Dan felt having to help another man's wife get her husband into their car. Later, after things calmed down, Dan swore he knew something was odd that night. Sure, on the surface, they seemed the same as always, but when he looked back at it, Ben was depressed complaining, which he never did when he was drunk. Sherry drank a bit more than her usual two old fashions. Yep, Dan would say as he wiped the bar. I saw it coming. He'd pause, then add, She always was a good-looking woman. The police found the car sideways down the side of the levee, the side away from the creek. No one thought that was by chance. That section of old peg was still in good condition, smooth, no potholes, and straight, even with a guardrail here and there. Sherry never gave the cops a decent explanation of how she lost control of the car, she just did. And losing control of a car on a beat-up road in the middle of the night isn't a crime. In stereotypical fashion, Ben slept through it all without even a bruise. He woke up in the hospital, nonetheless, for observation, as they say. Given his state at the time, he couldn't fill in any details for the cops. When he got home the next day, the front door was unlocked, and both the furniture and his wife were gone. The paperwork arrived within a week. Ben stopped drinking and got a job as the custodian at the KC Hall. When he wasn't around, Dan would look around like he was about to tell a secret and say, She always was a good-looking woman.